Pepper Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and today we're making modern art. <laughs> yeah, we're doing things a little bit different today. See, normally I make a drink for a holiday or for a celebrity, but today I wanted to put some culture in your face. And I don't just mean sitting on your face with a yeast infection. Oh, there goes me being classy this video. <laughs> thinking it's 2018 I've been making queef jokes for seven years on here close to that so how about every once in a while we go off the normal routine and we do something a little sophisticated maybe even get a little knowledge in your brain you can later use at bar trivia that's why today I decided to make a modern tart margarita Man, I'd love to know more about all these modern artists I'm about to talk about. However, I just don't have the time to read all their biographies. If only I had a way to learn about them while sitting in traffic. You know. A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash M-A-M-R-I-E. You ever want to read a book in the back of a cabin that makes you dizzy? Or when your friends keep talking about a novel they read but you're too damn busy? Then just try Audible. I guarantee it'll pass the time. I got a deal that'll make you squeal. I'll tell you all about it in this dope rhyme. Go to audible.com slash memory for a free download and 30 day trial did you know they have original shows to entertain yourself and stuff as a friend i must recommend the informative who was books they speak control it listen fast slow you won't regret it just take a look to start your free trial go to audible.com slash memory or you can text my name m-a-m-r-i-e to 500-500 cool bye guys for this drink all you're gonna need is fresh tomatoes maters will say it's photoshopped Fresh lime, fresh jalapeno, fresh tequila, cuantro, and then these little baby tomatoes for garnish. Oh my god! I gotta give it up for one of my favorite artists, Frida Kahlo. I mean, she was known for her magical art and surrealist eyebrows in the game. Surrealism. More like Frida tweezers, please. Just kidding, I would never put those social norms on beauty up on someone who is so incredible. I mean, Kahlo, can I go? Rather than the regular tomato juice you can buy in the store for Bloody Mary's that's like really thick. I thought I'd try my hand at juicing some tomatoes. What could possibly go wrong? So I'm gonna cut these into some chunks and then go get terrified at your juicer. Oh, fuck, every time. Look at this beautiful pink mater juice. Well, I'll be dang. Whew, fresh af. Actually, dated a famous modern artist once. Uh, this is just between us, but I had a little thing with Salvador Dali. It's true. However, that mustache ride feels like two fucking kebab skewers poking into your thighs every time you hop on. And not to mention he was always late for dates just saying that his clock's melted. Do you guys enjoy this? To a shaker full of ice, add some tequila. Most artists are tortured, so we'll get an extra slash. Artist Georgia O'Keeffe is very known for her paintings of poppies and other flowers that are said to represent vaginas. Well, I mean, Georgia did paint my vagina once. It didn't look like a poppy, but it was definitely a plant. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> Some more. Mm. Then I'm gonna do the juice of one whole lime per drink. This is in lieu of using a sour mix or something else that makes my entire vagina clench up. Instead of muddling a jalapeno or some jalapeno slices into the drink, I thought that might make it too spicy and not tart enough, but I like a little essence of it. So I'm gonna chop up a few slices. I'm gonna throw them in there. Oh, don't touch your pussy, don't touch your pussy now. Oh, don't touch your pussy, don't touch your pussy now. Let it burn. So when I shake up the drink, it'll still leave a little bit of jalapeno in there, but not like crazy hot. A little splash of Cointreau. Ooh, tiny. And then I'm gonna add some of this beautiful pink tomato juice. That's so gorgeous. I really love all the portraits that Picasso used to do. It looks like a before picture on Botched. However, I'm really more into his blue period, which, you know, I can relate to because I'm always blue before I get my period, especially if I'm on a date. However, we can pick ass. Pick ass, cause I'm on my period. Shake it up. I 
Ice cold, bitch. Now here's where shit gets cute. When I think of modern art, probably the most famous painting in my brain is Andy Warhol's tomato soup can. Well, guess what? That's our serving vehicle, motherfucker. I took out the soup. I made it for someone I love, along with the grilled cheese, because I'm not a monster. And now I'm going to fill it with ice. An artist that I've recently gotten into is Kandinsky. I like him because we have a lot in common. You see, he paints abstract, and I paint abs on every morning. Fucking built like Gigi Gorgeous up in this bitch. Look how freaking adorable that is. You could have a modern art party and serve a bunch of shit in here. Oh my god, it looks so good! Mm, just so you guys can see it. Fans, I'm borrowing one of your champagne flutes. It's like this pretty pink color. I know this is weird to think about matchmaking between two different eras of time, but I really feel like Vincent Van Gogh could really date this singer of the hit single Stay from the 90s because Van Gogh chopped his ear off from going crazy and he really needed to lease a lobe. Lisa Nearlo, Lisa Lowe, the singer, you guys remember her? Did anyone out there get that joke? Is anyone old enough? To garnish this work of art, I'm gonna take these itty bitty tomatoes. I'm gonna spear them on a little toothpick like olives to a martini. Also, everyone loves a little salt on their margarita. I don't need a whole rim, but I am going to, in honor of Grace last week, Put my favorite crazy salt that I always eat on tomatoes. Just a little dash will bring the flavors right out. I'm also gonna garnish it with just a little lime. Probably one of the most famous modern artists that you've definitely heard of is Andy Warhol. And I tell you what, if his exhibit ever comes to your town, go see it. There is nothing like looking at Marilyn's diptych. It is gorgeous. But don't have a couple drinks before you go to the exhibit and ask to see that poor wall's dick tip, because they will show it to you. It's in a private collection. The scale on that beast. And there you have it. Art for your mouth, a modern tart margarita. Cheers! Holy shit! It fucking worked. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of this. You get just the lightest bit of heat. Oh my God, this is so much lighter and effervescent and refreshing than a margarita, but you still get that tomato savoriness and that little bit of salt on top really adds some depth. Holy shit, I'm Jamie Oliver. Thank you for watching You Deserve a Drink. Again, I'm Mamrie Hart. And remember, the best part about Why Dad is the built-in drinking game. So make a delicious modern tart margarita, or you watch this and drink every time I make a terrible modern art pun. Now I'm off to send an apology to Frida Kahlo's family. Go see a Warhol exhibit. Be careful not to ask for the whore walls. Fuck, could have leased a, he needed to lease a lobe, an earlobe. Oh my God, I've hit rock bottom. Did anyone else think from commercials of tampons and pads when they were growing up that they were just gonna be bleeding out Windex? Can we change this?